<lacht> Wieso? Alkohol macht es doch nur noch schlimmer. Galena can't be the killer. They're making all this shit up. Oh, da ist der... Der Todd. Wesker. This is big if what you say is true, Daniel, how do you plan to prove it? It has nearly been a century since the Clarksons first took control of Lucari. One hundred years. I always thought my legacy would live on for two. No, three hundred at least. I'm gonna find the real killer and beat the living dog shit out of him. Yet it looks to me like times have changed. We ain't in the good old days no more. You understand me, boy. Yes, sir. I'm right there with you, Paul. I'm gonna continue what you started, sir, and make the Clarkson family strong again. But first, I need to find whoever really killed Lise and bash their fucking brains in. I saw this coming. Ever since the day Lenny left home, the town of Lucare has been cursed. We can't stop what's happening now. It's too late. It's beyond me. No. It's beyond the minds of anyone who comes from the olden days. You understand me now, boy? Yes, sir. Believe me, I do. I'll kill him. Just leave everything to me, Paul. Hmm. Are you serious about this? Yes, sir. Right hand of God. Look right in my eyes. I ain't lying. I'm serious. I just need you to lend me some troops, sir. We need retribution, right now. That's the job I've been given, and I intend to do it. Well then, let me ask you one more time. Are you serious about this? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm a Clarkson, and all Clarksons have a job to do. Isn't that what we always say? Mm-hmm. Then I'll need an arm. Yeah, what? Well now, you want to use my troops. I'm gonna need to know whether or not you're really serious about this. Just one arm. Slide it on through that wire there, and it'll take care of it for you. Paul, I mean, you're joking, right? Daniel. Have I ever told you a single joke? Uh, no, but... If you want to become a real Clarkson, <laughs> then you done got yourself a job to do. <laughs> Wait, Paul, I, I get it now. You, you, you want me to stick it in and pull it out at the last minute, right? You, you, you want to see if I got guts or not, but... There's gonna be another way! You... You can't be serious, sir. Hey! Knock it off, you assholes! Let me go! He's just joking with me! Let me go, goddammit! Oh, please, sir, don't do this! Just tell me this is a joke, please! I am a Clarkson, and no matter how our fortune falls, all Clarksons have a job to do. That be the law of this land. Sein Job war einen Arm zu verlieren. Okay.
Was? Okay. Was war das gerade, bitte? Warum stand da ein Kerl in der Unterhose und hat Saxophon gespielt? Ich dachte, das jetzt sind wir in der Bar und reden mit wem oder irgendwie so, aber gar nichts. Was war das gerade? Warum? Kapitel 1 beendet. Rang S. Yeah! <lacht> Abschlusszeit 9 Stunden 12 Minuten. Zwei Tage... 96 besiegte Gegner zählen die Eichhörnchen mit wahrscheinlich. Oder die Gegner am Schluss beim Boss. Das waren schon viele, oder? Aber so viele. Naja, fast 1000 Dollar. Abwendung von Katastrophen eine. Oh. Bußgelder. Hm. Ich kann mich erinnern. Grauen der Anderswelt. Capitanos und Pulcinellas. Ich habe doch immer nur den gleichen Gegnertyp besiegt. Da waren doch nicht zwei verschiedene. Das wäre mir nicht aufgefallen. Eichhörnchen und herrenlose Hunde. Ja, genau. Ah, ah ja, aber dann, dann zählen die Eichhörnchen wirklich rein. Aber ich habe tatsächlich sehr viel Monster besiegt. Cool. Also bei mir wirkt Alkohol auf jeden Fall so, dass ich kurz für eine gewisse Dauer, vielleicht auch mal eine Stunde oder zwei oder drei, sehr lebendig werde und dann werde ich sofort todmüde. Oh. You can hear me. Right. Jetzt sind wir zack. I'll be with you soon. I'm not sad. Honestly, I can't wait. It's all I think about lately. I mean, we'll be together again. We'll get to discuss movies and food again. Everyone around here has bad taste. They don't understand things the way we do. It's a shitty world filled with shitty people. Oh, that reminds me. There are movie theaters and restaurants over there, right? As soon as I get there, let's go grab some peanut butter hamburgers and yogurt smoothies. I'm so excited, York. Rush me. You, you just, just need, need to, to wait, wait a bit, bit longer. longer. I, I still have one job left to do. I need, I need to finish it. I have to. to. Or else I'd, I'd never be able to face you. you. Just, just, just give, give me a little, little more time. time. Okay. Zwei neunzehn. Thompson will. Da sind wir wieder. Hey, Katzen. So, Lise's mother, Galena okay. Clarkson, confessed to murdering Lise. <sighs> But then immediately afterwards, she went insane. So you had no choice but to detain her. What a terribly convenient story. You were the first person to find the suspect hiding at a farm on the edge of town. And you even got her to confess to the crime, right then and there. 
Katzendrink gerade durch bei mir. Die, die beiden Kater kämpfen gerade. Did anyone else get a chance to hear Galena's confession? Only us. How did you even find that shack in the first place? Metaphysical offender profiling. Meta what? Should I know this word? Metaphysical offender profiling. The term appears six times in the Lucare report and 14 times in the 2010 Greenvale report. As long as you're solving cases, the people in charge don't really care what sort of words you use. But we're different. You utilized a highly abnormal method to instantly hone in on a suspect. Then you did it again and again. And every time you used it, one term kept appearing in your files. Metaphysical offender profiling. Mr. Morgan, would you mind explaining to us what this term means? We could try. But no matter what words we used, you'd never be able to understand. You see, it doesn't pertain to this side. Come, my fairy. Stop hiding back there and give them the explanation they so desire. <laughs> what? You're too shy? <laughs> Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan! Come on out. Don't be afraid. You can do it. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Is that all you have to say? Don't underestimate me, Morgan. I know you and the Clarkson share a deeper connection. Much deeper than how it appears on the surface. I need to shake him with something else that's directly connected to the Clarksons. I'm gonna jog his memory by force. Okay. Das Foto ist quasi die Hauptdingens, dann werden wir das Foto als letztes nehmen. Those letters look very old. Ah, schade. Jetzt sieht man den Brief in Nahaufnahme und da ist ein Siegel drauf von der Libelle und so. Jetzt glaube ich nicht mehr, dass es ein, ein Smash Brothers Easter Egg Invitation Brief ist, leider. Sehr schade. The postmark suggests they were sent out from Louisiana. And I suspect that Dragonfly Mark belongs to the Clarkson family. Wäre das nicht mehr thematisiert worden, wäre ich davon ausgegangen, er kommt in Smash Brothers, Francis, York, Morgan. Aber jetzt glaube ich nicht. Es wäre auch super unwahrscheinlich gewesen, aber es wäre so cool gewesen. Naja, kann man nichts machen. <coughs> Maybe. So what if it does? A stalker has been harassing Patricia Clarkson for several years now. Did you know about this? Constant silent phone calls, unmarked letters. She also spotted a suspicious figure lurking near her mansion several times. And just last week her employees spotted a strange figure lurking in the vicinity. The day someone else coincidentally used your alias and traveled to Louisiana. That's very intriguing. Aligned symbolism. Lise Clarkson also reported being harassed by a stalker just before she was murdered. You're aware of this, correct? Because I didn't find any mention of this in your report.
Ach, zu viele Kabel überall, okay. No direct connection to the case. The visionary lies to himself, the liar only to others. Which are you? That's enough for now. This all has nothing to do with the case. Besides, there's no evidence that proves those letters are from her. Isn't that right, my fairy? Mr. Morgan, I noticed that several parts of this report have been redacted. For example, here. One individual's name has been erased from the key figure list. Would you mind telling me why? Someone in charge must have thought it was unimportant. Or maybe even inappropriate. Why would they think that? How should we know? We've never understood what those people do. Well, I took the liberty of trying to restore what was taken out. Normal ink was used to blot it out, so I was able to recover part of it. Here's what it says. Sapling salesman. All the other redacted parts seem to be connected to this person. But I can't think of a single reason why this individual would need to be removed from the report. Why is he so untouchable? Oh, him. He's nothing. We were barking up the wrong tree. Meaning? Can't include someone who doesn't exist in an official report, now can we? Doesn't exist? You mean he had nothing to do with the case? <laughs> Yeah, you could say that. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Morgan. According to you, at the beginning of this case, the victim's body was being stored in the warehouse on purpose. Is that the truth? They really put her body there alongside food and other perishables? It's in the report. No. The report only says... It was stored using the most effective and shockingly inhuman method possible. If you can think of a better phrase, we're all ears. The report isn't wrong, you know. In fact, that might actually be the most accurate way of describing it. It's precise, and it's also kind of poetic, you know? Wow, Simon. We never would have taken you for a poet. <laughs> <coughs> right? <laughs> You two think this is a joke? Lise Clarkson's body was discovered in that cold storage warehouse after 14 long years. If you'd only done a proper investigation, we probably would have found her much sooner. <sighs> that poor girl. We still regret the fact that we never got to meet her. We're sorry from the bottoms of our hearts. I only hope it didn't happen that way by design. Will you comfort me? <sighs> Thank you, my fairy. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't go that easily. Maybe I should try asking my questions in a different way. I could use Agent Jones here. A stinking indulgence, and a massive DVD collection.
You must live a very comfortable life. We're retired, remember? Retired in your 40s. I'm envious. But who doesn't love movies, Belle? I'm not a fan. Oh, that won't do. You should dedicate all the free time you have to watching movies. It's practically an unwritten law. Films guide us. Films are filled with every important life lesson there is. Is that so? For example, They Live. 1988, directed by John Carpenter. That film taught us a valuable lesson. Always put on your sunglasses before a fight. <laughs> okay. You know, you got a point. Movies teach us about everything we need to know. I learned about the right way to eat frozen pizza from Cobra. It's one of Stallone's best films. Before that, I wouldn't be caught dead trying to eat frozen pizza. I thought it wasn't fit for human consumption. But that film changed my life. Simon, that has nothing to do with the film. You're just talking about pizza. Kann ich noch mal über die Filme reden? Anscheinend. <clears throat> it's bugging you, isn't it, Aaliyah? Huh? What? I get it. I get it. It's bugging me, too. It's even got my heart racing a little. I mean, look at this. Nothing but DVDs. Not a single Blu-ray in sight. Just pure, unadulterated DVDs. And he's got VHS tapes, too. Spaceballs. I don't even have a VHS player in my house anymore. Whoa, look at this. Check it out. This one's got a lot of pizza in it, remember? <laughs> really? Had Spaceball so viel pizza scenes? Pizza Mampf, natürlich. Yeah, natürlich. Am Pizza Mampf kann ich mich erinnern. You're not wrong, Simon. There's a very large quantity of pizza in that film. 1987, directed by Mel Brooks. The version on that tape is the one we recorded back when you could catch it on cable TV. Oh, seriously? Damn, Morgan, that's incredible! You're really living the dream, man. I hope you both haven't forgotten that this conversation is also being recorded. Yeah, good night, Otis. Looks good. Oh, schade. Ich könnte dem oder den beiden stundenlang über Filme zuhören, reden und Pizza, Filme und Pizza, beides gleichzeitig. This is a nice building. Layout isn't bad either. Whew. Must be rather expensive to rent a place like this in Boston. How many other rooms are there in this apartment? That room over there, your bedroom? Huh. Why so curious, Belle? It almost sounds as if you're seeing this place for the first time. Aside from the hardware shop on the first floor, every apartment in this building has the exact same layout. We're well aware that you studied the layout of this apartment before you came to see us. There's no need to act so roundabout. Just be honest. Say it. 
I want to see your bedroom. Well then? Doesn't mean we'll let you see it though. Agent Jones. Schlafende Katze hinter mir. Are you paying attention? Or do you intend to waste Mr. Morgan's precious time? Uh, no. Sorry. I'm just a little tired. I'm listening. I'm listening. Take your hand out of your pocket. Didn't they teach you any manners at Quantico? Oh, uh, right. Guess they slipped my mind. Oh. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Data analysis is my specialty, you know. I, uh, I'm sure I'd be able to calm down a bit if I had some pizza, though. <laughs> uh, the FBI needs to do something about their lack of personnel. I'll have to ask the questions myself. But how should I start? Maybe I should look back over the files and calmly reassess the situation. Oh, what am I? Uh huh. Just the usual around here. No need to worry. The usual? Yes. A strange person lives upstairs. Every now and then. He makes noise. What's strange about him? Several years ago, a woman was murdered upstairs. Her husband still lives there. Yikes! He's ex-BPD, and apparently he's still searching for the killer. But it seems like they cut all support for the investigation due to decreased funding. The team on the case wanted to keep working on it, but the suits wouldn't hear of it. <laughs> a tale as old as time. Due to his situation, perhaps, he's been making a lot more noise recently. Like you just heard. You never noticed anything, Agent Jones. Well, I did hear some loud noises every now and then. But I didn't think they were real noises coming from upstairs. I mean, look at him. It's not like he's reacting to the noise. He always just went about his business as usual for all the years I've watched him. So I just figured it was coming from the TV. You really amaze me sometimes. Moment mal, der redet doch von David Young aus D4, oder nicht? Wer, wann, weiß ich nicht. Der, der Polizist über uns, oder wie? Was ist denn D4? Ach so, ein Spiel. 
Das heißt wirklich die vier, oder? Dark dreams don't die. Wartet mal. Investigieren wir mal. Dark dreams don't die. Connect Controls für die Xbox. Aha, Graphic Novel. Graphic Adventure. Äh, das ist ein Swery-Spiel. Ja, dann würde die Referenz ziemlich viel Sinn machen und könnte darauf hinweisen, dass die beiden im gleichen Universum spielen. Und dass der Agent aus D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die, über <lacht> Francis hier wohnt. Warum nicht, oder? Das hat sogar sehr gute Wertungen bekommen. Vielleicht sollte ich mir das mal anschauen. Cool, cool. Das kannte ich gar nicht. Ah, das hat er vor The Missing gemacht. Das habe ich wieder gespielt. Aber die vier nicht. Genau, und er arbeitet jetzt momentan zusammen mit Suda51 an Hotel Barcelona und The Good Life. Das sieht auch interessant aus. Naja, aber gut. Dann wahrscheinlich ja. Danke für die, für die Hintergrundinformation. Swerys anderes Spiel, das nie abgeschlossen wurde. Der wohnt in einem Apartment, das exakt gleich aussieht. Na schau, na guck. Das ist ja witzig. Dann hat er da jetzt die Verbindung hergestellt. <lacht>